But for now, here's a snapshot of state services that are affected by the shutdown. These are closed or suspended. The state lottery, hunting and fishing licenses, if you don't have it by now, you can't get one, but the DNR will still enforce the law. Highway rest stops, driver's license tests are not permitted, but licenses can be renewed. State offices will be closed, but city and county offices can distribute license tabs and renew plates. Road construction, services for the blind and the deaf, and that includes Lakeland's closed captioning. The Minnesota Zoo, historical sites are closed from Fort Snelling to Split Rock Lighthouse. Seniors in need of housing, help with health insurance, or other options won't be able to use their hotline. Child care assistance, tax refunds, they aren't going out, but taxes are still being collected. Nurses and doctors can't renew their licenses and may be unable to see patients if their license expires. Tuition reimbursements claims stop, as do veterans' outreach claims. And finally, the state capitol is closed to the public. These organizations will remain open. Emergency services, employees handling homeland security and emergency response, state patrol, other law enforcement, many programs stay intact including the sex offender registry, criminal background checks, fingerprinting services, the state crime lab and crime scene investigations, education, funding for K-12 continues, state colleges and universities stay open medical assistance programs, food stamps, welfare benefits, payments under the Minnesota Care Health Insurance Program, and unemployment payments will continue. Workers' compensation claims and benefits will still be processed. Veterans' homes and programs, health and safety inspections of health care facilities, child protection services, refugee assistance, and state payments to cities and counties will continue. Nursing homes and treatment centers, the courts will keep running at all levels, and finally, marriage licenses will still be available at county service centers. Instead of taxing their friends, they would prefer very damaging cuts to health care, K-12 and higher education, state and local public safety, mass transit, and this governor has chosen maximum pain, maximum pain for political gain. And if you have questions about state services that no longer are available, contact your local state representative or senator or the governor. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.